guest, the faculty members, and dear students. Uh, good morning to all of you. It's a great honor to, for me to be here today to celebrate the gold, silver jubilee of uh, Army Institute of Management, Kolkata, which has come miles since its inception 25 years ago. Uh, I also congratulate all the past faculty members as also the present faculty members for putting in sustained effort to ensure that the Institute matures and produces business managers who contribute towards nation building. And I'm conscious of the effort that has been put in by all the people, including the administrative staff, which was required while shifting the campus to the new location here in 2021. Having been the chief of staff at that point of time, I am conscious of the challenges that were faced. Uh, it was only after setting a target date that uh, we were able to sh ensure a shifting of the institute to this new campus which I must uh, confess that has come up beautifully. I'm seeing it after about more than two years now. And I'm sure uh, the students as well as the faculties are being able to use this excellent facility to pursue their educational pursuit while being at the academy. Uh, the details about the achievements of the Institute have already been spoken about in terms of the quality of education that is being imparted as also the placement uh, that are being achieved. Uh, these have all been possible because of the sustained hard work put in by all of you. And I would like to compliment uh, the entire team of Army Institute of Management Kolkata for their dedication and devotion to groom the future leaders of the country. You all are aware that about in 90s, uh, the army as an organization felt the need of professional institutes, which are primarily for the wards of the army people. So that is how uh, these institutes came about, out of which the Army Institute of Management, Kolkata, is, the, is one of those institutes which were established. What is uh, important thing to note is alongside the educational curriculum, it has also been able to imbibe the values and ethos that the entire army stands by. I think that is something which uh, Mr. Stephanos had also spoken about that gives the students from this institute an edge over the other competitors. These values of honesty, integrity, loyalty, and character, which is integral to the armed forces way of life, is also imbibed to the students here and which I'm sure has been helping the uh, alumni of this institute in pursuing their own career wherever they have been placed. And here also, they not only learn theories, they carry with them these qualities, making them better leaders and contribute effectively, like I said earlier, to nation building. So two, three points which I want to uh, tell the students as well as the faculty is that, you know, the way the world is changing with the technology development, we also need to change. The entire glo global world is changing with the technology and which is evolving at a very, very fast pace. Therefore, incorporation of technology in management in the field of supply chain management using big data analytics, machine learning, risk management techniques, and ever evolving digital arena advertising are areas where business administration and technical fusion is finding flavor. 
The global companies you all are aware, like Google, Amazon, Flipkart, Uber, Ola, are success stories of technology-infused global business and supply chains. We are also aware that in all spheres of life, the artificial intelligence has come to stay. It would become very, very predominant in decision making. And therefore, in the course curriculum that we are going to evolve, we need to, to make our students future ready. I think this aspect needs to be considered by the faculty. We also need to see the over the horizon requirements of our industry and the challenges that the students passing out of this institute are likely to face and make them future ready so that they become successful business leaders. And I'm sure uh, with the guidance of the faculty and the uh, director present here, the course curriculum will be tweaked to meet the challenges of the futures. Uh, to the students, uh, just a couple of words of advice. Uh, there are many challenges in life. And as also your personal life, as also your professional career, they are all full of challenges. And what is going to carry you through is your knowledge, hard work, grit, and determination for success. There are no shortcuts in life. It's a, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. So you have to be at it at all times. And you must learn from your failures and empower yourself to succeed. And you should not be afraid of taking considered risk. I have realized that in all domains, whether in armed forces or in corporate houses, risk-taking ability, having considered all the pros and cons, is a quality that is desired out of all the leaders if you want to succeed. So that is an important aspect which I would like all the students here to keep in mind. And you also need to ensure that uh, you take the harder right, which will pay the rich dividend in the long run instead of taking the easier option. Uh, once again, at the end, I would like to compliment uh, the faculty and the administrative staff, as also the students of the Army Institute of Management, Kolkata, on this momentous occasion of Golden Ju uh, Silver Jubilee. And I wish that you grow from strength to strength and start producing business leaders who contribute towards the nation and take our great nation forward. Jai Hind.